Um, I think what we should be focusing on um, here in Durban is the fact that the Canadian government's position is not representing the people of Canada. In fact, they're clearly representing the polluters. What the Harper government is doing is, um, is trying to protect um, uh, big uh, dirty developments like the tar sands. Um, and, um, and I think what we, need, what we need to do is make sure that people realize um, that, um, uh, that his position is not representative of either the majority of the Canadian people um, uh, or, of course, many of the Canadians here in, in, in Durban. What the Harper government is doing here in Durban um, is, uh, uh, you know, they are they are hiding behind their call for a deal that includes all major emitters, um, and when they know uh, that that call um, uh, uh, could mean um, that when they know that that call is simply not realistic, developed countries need to step up to the plate and take responsibility um, for uh, the fact that we're that we're, we have a historical responsibility for the problem. And the developing world will come on board. China, India, South Africa, they will come on board, but not unless uh, the developed countries uh, lead and take responsibility for, for, the, for having caused the problem to date. And the Harper government knows that. And so by saying that they're moving, they're leaving Kyoto behind, um, and then, um, and, but that they still want a deal, um, they know, in effect, that there, that, they, that there won't be a deal that they have to sign on to and they won't have to reduce emissions. Politically, do you think that this was a leak or do you think that they actually intended to make this announcement on the eve of the conference? You know, um, I, it's, it's always a, a question with the Harper government of, um, of, of whether they're just ignorant or, or belligerent. Uh, I think in, in this case, uh, they're both, um, and uh, they're doing everything that they can uh, to weaken these negotiations. Canada is in fact playing way above its weight by not only having some of the most uh, regressive and destructive climate policies, but working to, um, uh, to weaken uh, other countries' policies, like the EU Fuel Quality Directive or, or, or the US uh, climate policies. The Canadian government is spending more taxpayers' money right now on lobbying against uh, clean energy and climate progress around the world than they are in developing clean and safe solutions for Canadians.